What is up, YouTube? Today, we're looking at the 49 or 59 in Sambar Stag. First and foremost, I'm going to be totally transparent. Um, I am not a huge fan of this pattern, but I do like Stag. So I, when I you know got the notice that it, they were up, I went ahead and pulled the trigger kind of just to see if I could and I, and I got one I was lucky as everybody knows getting a GEC is kind of like winning the lottery sometimes sorry if I bumped the camera but I am gonna wax this because I'm you know that's why I got the camera out um or I, I use an iPhone it's not a camera but uh yeah as you can see Pretty good, pretty good. Um, will this stay in my collection long term? That is a good question that no one asked me. But I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe. Just because, I mean, I just think that this whittler pattern with a spear is kind of a smidgen goofy, honestly. It's uh. It just doesn't look right to me. And um, makes me not really sure if I'm going to keep it. But people seem to really like these guys. Uh, so I may end up selling it at some point. I'm not really sure about that. I don't know how people don't think that this looks goofy because it does. Like, what? Kind of whittler has a spear. But it is what it is. As I clean, I'm going to talk. Maybe I'll talk a little shit. But here, here is something that's really been bugging me recently about YouTube. It's people getting knives for free and then not mentioning that they got a $300 plus dollar knife for free, giving it a glowing review. Because it makes me think that they don't have any integrity. Even if they do. Um, to not mention that is kind of, in my eyes, a little, a little much. A little much. It's not like you're leaving out the length of the knife. Uh, you're literally leaving out, oh, hey, guys, this review might be totally... 100% bullshit because I got the knife for free. And if I had paid for it, my view on this might have been totally different. Um, a bunch of people do it. I'm not trying to dime anybody out. But uh, it is something that is kind of, I wouldn't say upsetting me because I don't, you know, I don't care a whole lot, honestly. But it's one of those things, things that make you go, hmm, type of thing. Um... Very odd, very odd stuff that people do and then expect to be taken seriously. Um, it's something I don't do. I pay for my knives like a normal person. And if I were to get them for free, I would tell you. So yeah, just be aware of that, guys. Be aware that some people out there are not really giving you the inside track that they're on. Um, they're giving you kind of, you know, just super glowing reviews of things that they don't pay for. And uh, it would be like if I didn't pay for this gun, right? And then I gave it a glowing review. Or I didn't pay for that light, and I gave it a glowing review. Um, yeah, I mean, I bet if, uh, I bet if some of those people really slammed those knives that they would stop getting them for free. I can almost guarantee that. But like I said, not diamond anybody out. Um, but it is the larger channels. <laughs> 
And it is what it is. I mean, I get that I don't get free knives. I have less than 500 subscribers right now, but uh, it does kind of make me wonder what else that people are not divulging. Um, maybe that's just me. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. That's about all she wrote for this one. Hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now.